Well, here I am back again today, even. We are going to start the wonderful tuna fish casserole. I used to make this a lot when the kids were little and even when Dylan was little. I've modified it a little bit because the original recipe has a whole jar of cheese whiz and ew, I don't know about any of you, but I do not eat cheese whiz anymore. <laughs> it's like, anyway, so I switched up and I have cheddar cheese, um, which will be good. I got the mixture, the Colby Jack, and it will be yum. So without further ado, let's get to making. So I have an empty pot. I am going to put in one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now I have made this recipe with putting mushrooms and cream and all of this, but we're going for the easy peasy. Then I will put in the can of tuna. I have the chunk tuna, albacore tuna packed in water. I've already drained it. I'm gonna just get it in the pan. Then I'm going to take the can and I'm gonna put a little milk in there, about halfway, a half a can, like you were making soup. Pour that in. I'm gonna stir this around for just a minute to get this part blended. So it's kind of creamed up, it's not like lumpy soup. Get the tuna, everything mixed. And then I'm going to turn on some low heat. And I'm going to dump in about a cup, maybe a little more, probably about a cup of the Colby Jack. And I'm going to stir this around until the cheese is all melty. So I have already cooked egg noodles and I'm going to just pour the mixture right on top. Get it all on there. I did have to add a little bit more milk. Um, because my mixture wasn't getting, um, it was too thick. But you can add more milk, add more cheese, whatever makes you happy. Anyway, you scooch this all around in here. Get everything mixed in. And then I tend to you probably could have put it in a bowl, but I just didn't want to dirty up another thing. <laughs> so here we are. Um, then you can, if you want, put a little bit more cheese on top. And I'm going to go get the cheese and put it on top. My, uh... My mom used to put crushed up saltines on top, but I don't know. I think it's salty enough with the, um, with the soup, so I tend to not want to do that. And then I just put it in the oven until it seems all warmed up and your cheese is melted. And then I occasionally will serve it with some crushed potato chips on top. Ooh, yum. So into the oven it will go and I'll be back. And voila, yummy cooked tuna casserole. Yes, indeed. I'm going to get a fork and give it a taste just because. Okay, we're going to fork it. 
Isn't that right, co-host Rhonda? Oh, look at this. Nice and gooey, crunchy on top. Yum, a Rudy. It's a little too hot to shove in my mouth yet, but let's see. So, we have tuna casserole that is really wicked yummy. I think I'll take another bite. And um, it has just the right crunch on top. I think that everyone will enjoy it. And it doesn't taste quite as salty as it would with a jar of Cheese Whiz. But if you like Cheese Whiz, then hey, go for it. I just know what I like. And that's what this is all based on, what I like. <laughs> so. Mm. That is yummy. And this is Grandma Terry. Signing off until next time. Have a great week.